Hey, what's going on? It's uh, Alan B. Charity. Something that's been on my mind. Um, it's mastery. And what defines a true master of anything, of everything? What defines being a master? And I think that a lot of people, um, they think that to become a master, let's say of martial arts, when you know a thousand moves, now you're a master. That's from his perspective. When you know 10,000 moves, now you're a master. That's his perspective. There's an unlimited perspectives about what a master is and how many moves you need to know before you are considered a master. And the answer is it doesn't matter how many moves you do or don't know. Mastery is not just mastering one thing or mastering a skill. Mastery is mastering thyself. You can't master anything until you've mastered yourself. This is what I mean by mastering yourself, though. When you come to the place where you know so much that you can't be taught anything more, you have now went from a master to a fool because your ego has blown up and it's in front of you and you think that that is you but it isn't and you're putting it out there and you're showing everybody how good you are and you're living up to the standard of the master and I am the master and all this pressure is on you and you feel self-conscious about not living up to that standard you don't even want to fight or spar with anybody in the gym because you're afraid you'll lose and look like you're not the master the true master is willing to lose man the true master is willing to still grow and willing to still learn forever it never stops you never stop learning you never stop evolving and growing in anything that you do therefore there's never any mastery of the art there is only mastery of thyself there is only that and mastery of thyself is the humility to continue to learn for eternity and that is the tough part when you do elevate to a certain level and you have this, this thing to uphold and this title to uphold. That's why titles aren't really very useful because they make us stumble and fall and forget about the reason why we started the journey in the first place. And it was never to hold a title or to try to take our respect. The respect is given from the students when they can appreciate your presence and what you've given to them. They reciprocate that, that respect. And so there's no need to tell them, call me master. They feel inside that that's who you are to them. This is Mastery by Alan B. Charity.